Hello, Tad Hargrave from Marketing for Hippies. Today we're talking about beta test, pilot test, that kind of thing. Uh, if you've got something new you're wanting to start, a new idea, a new direction, a new niche, but it feels a little overwhelming, this is exactly what you need. So before I go into it, again, you can always subscribe to me on YouTube if you haven't already. Why haven't you already? And then click the little bell icon that comes up and you'll be notified whenever a new video comes out. You can follow me on Facebook. I got an email list, marketingforhippies.com, all sorts of things. Okay, so beta test, what is this? Beta test means small test, a uh, pilot, like a little experiment. And this is so vital um, because people get overwhelmed. When we start talking about niching, especially if we're changing our niche or focusing a bit, people freak out and think, oh, I need to change everything. I need to change my whole strategy, my whole um, website. I've got to redo everything, new business cards. And I would really recommend against that as an approach. What I would recommend instead is that you do a little test. And there's a book called Lean Startup by Eric Ries, and he talks about this idea of the minimum viable product. So what's the minimum viable offering? What's the smallest thing you could do that would give you enough feedback to let you know if it really works? Uh, so for example, if you have a new niche you're thinking about, but you're like, I don't know if I really wanna double down on it. Well, why don't you just do um, a 30 minute teleseminar on it? Something so small, a little workshop in your living room. Just, hey, I got this new idea I'm kicking around. Is anyone interested? You know, it's free or it's cheap or it's pay what you can by donation. Everyone just drops in. Or you can say, I'm going to do a 30-day program on this. I may never do it again. There you go. Something very, very small. It could just be you do a series of videos on it, at least to experiment and you tag some people to get some feedback. A beta test could also just be conversations that you have with people. You say, look, you know, I've been thinking about doing something on this. What do you think about this as an offer? You write it out, you show it on paper, have them read it, give you feedback. You know, little things. Instead of thinking, what's the most I could do? You think, what's the smallest thing I could do? You know, instead of going big, you go very, very small indeed. And what do you do? You try it and then you reflect on it. You try it, you reflect on it. You, you do something, you learn something. And a lot of small quick, agile, nimble iterations will get you more lessons, yeah? Uh, although you could roll the dice on a big one, but I would, and then you may learn a lot, but it may be very expensive. So I think it's better to just try small things. It could be bold, but small. Specific and small. Uh, you know, instead of trying to, I'm gonna get a farm, how about a tomato plant? <laughs> See if you like growing plants at all. Then a little raised bed. You know, which I'm actually getting my own raised beds this weekend. Um, but you try a raised bed, and then maybe a little bit of a bigger garden, you know, and then you may do a farm. Just jumping into the whole thing may be a little overwhelming. Instead of building a house, try building a tree house. <laughs> Start small. Um, you know, it's, it's uh, as Bill Barron, one of my colleagues, says, you don't have to marry your niche. You can date your niche. In fact, it's proper to date your niche before you marry your niche. You know, you can take your time, slow down. There's no rush on this. Um, and one of my uh, dear friends, Javin Bernakovich, he has a great thing. He would do permaculture and permaculture certifications. He would, uh, people would, you know, really be struggling with their niche at the end of it because they'd learned two weeks of content, you know, God, what do I do with it next? So he would help them figure out a niche through it, through a little process. And so they would have something at the end and his assignment, and I would give this to you as well. I think this is so brilliant. It's the 10 by 10 by 100 challenge. Pick one of these things and pick, pick something you can do in no more than 10 hours. Spending no more than $100 in no more than 10 days. 10 by 10 by 100. 10 days, 10 hours, no more than $100. So you see what I'm saying? You're putting a limit on it. Not saying spend at least 10 hours on this. You know, spend at least the next 10 days. Spend at least $100. No, no, no. No more than that. Why? Because then you'll do something. If you do something, you'll learn something. So this is such an important idea. If you've been stuck on something, you might be thinking too big. Try thinking smaller. Okay, I think that's all. If you have any questions about this or other uh, questions you'd like me to do a video on, please put it in a comment below. Uh, I do read them and uh, it may just turn into another video that I do soon. Thanks everyone so much.